Hello, I'm Andreas. I am a musician, programmer, and just generally a music technologist. And I'd like to introduce you to my tutorial series, Python for Musicians. So why Python? Well, it's a popular programming language. There are a lot of people who know how to use Python. Many have made tutorials. There is a lot of reusable code like uh, libraries, packages, which means that if you encounter a problem and you don't know how to do something, chances are someone solved it and you will be able to follow some sort of tutorial or get some answers pretty quickly. Now, Python is also easy and I say easy with a star. It's, it's easy in the sense that the syntax is easy to read. It's also easy to debug because the stack trace shows you where your code went wrong, which means that when that happens, you know exactly what you need to fix. And finally, Python is very, very general. It is used in many, many different fields like machine learning, uh, data analysis, but also you can make games with Pygame. And it's, it's just generally a very good introduction to the world of programming. Now, I have to mention that if your goal out of this is to become a creative coder that does live uh, music with code, maybe Python is not the best language for that. You should check out MaxMSP, Pure Data, Faust, uh, Super Collider. There are many others that do specifically that. But this course is very much about learning Python. So who is this course for? Well. This course is for musicians who want to learn Python programming. It is for people who are interested in digital signal processing, and it is for people who want to get into audio programming. Because say you are a musician and you want to develop your own uh, plugin to then put into your DAW, it can be very daunting if you've never done programming before to jump into the hurdle of using C++ uh, and developing a VST straight away. And this could be a very good introduction. I'm going to approach this series as a project. So we're gonna be building a, a synthesizer because it tackles fundamental concepts in programming, uh, but also in music synthesis, DSP, everything is in here. It's also nice that by the time you finish with this course, you have something that you can use. And finally, it is highly customizable, which means that by the end of the course, you can customize it in any way you like. You don't have to even use it as a synthesizer. It could You can reuse bits of that code to do something completely different. This is the synthesizer. So I can run it by typing Python and then my script is called polysynth. So I can tap to complete, hit enter. And yeah, now I'm gonna improvise something. No idea what, but um, here we go. The lesson format that I'll be going for is we'll start the lessons with a general topic. So what are we going to focus in that lesson? Then we're going to think about how we approach this topic. And then we're going to implement this topic or in a project context. So say we're learning about a, a sine wave. We will, I will explain what a sine wave is, how you can program a sine wave. Um, I'll also show you some tips and tricks along the way. Like if you have a question, how do you ask it? How do you, uh, how do you look at the documentation online for whatever you're using? How do you ask chat GPT for answers? This is all very important today. And then finally we look at how to implement a sine wave and get 
some sound out. So the next lesson, or rather the first lesson, will be lesson zero. And it will be about getting up to speed so that by lesson one, we can dive straight in. The general direction of the course will be to finishing the synthesizer that I demoed. Um, but please feel free to ask questions in the comments. Um, subscribe so that you can get the next tutorials in your subscription feed. If you want to see the tutorials go in a different direction, then leave a comment and we'll explore that topic together. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.